Hello, fellow yogis. Welcome to today's episode. And today's、uh, flow is all about summer, enjoying summer, enjoying the heat, and to cool down the body using a pranayama technique at the end of this flow. So I hope you guys will enjoy this flow with me, and I hope it brings、um, it brings a sense of.、Uh, Um, cool and calm and joy in this、uh, beautiful and、uh, hot summer. All right, so、um, let's start at the front of our mat in standing. So we all start with two rounds of sound salutations with a very slow and controlled.、Uh, Motion with slow breaths to start this whole flow is just to、uh, bring enough blood circulations to our body to loosen up our muscles and to just relax our muscles before we come into this whole、um, summer joyful flow. All right, at the front of our mat in mountain pose and、uh, inhale arms up. Slightly back, back,、um, back bend. Exhale, bow down to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, left foot back and knee down. Low lunge, arms up. Inhale, exhale, arms down, hands down, and come into plank pose. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the knees, chest. Chin down to the floor, and inhale, cobra. Exhale down, and downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg in between the arms, low lunge, and exhale, hands on the mat. Bring the right foot to meet the left. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up. Mountain pose. Arms up. Exhale, hearts. Hands together at heart center. Okay, let's bring it to the other side with the same、uh, rhythm. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bring the right leg back and knee down. Inhale up, shoulder down. Exhale, hands on the floor, plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg, be- right foot between hands. Knee down. Arms up. Inhale. Exhale. Come into forward fold. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Fold deeper. Inhale. Mountain pose. Arms up. Exhale. Hands together at heart center. Let's take two breaths here, just to make. Make the body and mind connected to each other, and slow down with the breath. And let's do one more round of this sun salutation. Inhale, arms up. Back bend. Exhale, fold forward. Forehead to the knee. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, left foot back, knee down. Arms up. Exhale, plank. Knees, chest, chin to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, left foot in between hands. Low lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeper. Inhale, raise up to mountain. Arms up, back bend. In. Exhale, hands together at heart center. Inhale, arms up. 
exhale fold forward inhale halfway lift exhale fold deeper and bring the right foot back low lunge exhale hands down plank knees chest chin inhale cobra exhale downward facing dog inhale right foot in between hands low lunge exhale fold fold stay in this forward fold a little longer here you can hold the opposite of your elbows just to dangle here inhale halfway lift exhale fold deeper and slowly raise up into mountain pose arms up and hands together at heart center mountain pose two two rounds of breath here and now let's slowly start with our beautiful joyful summer flow inhale arms up and exhale bend forward and come slowly bring the legs back and come slowly to bring the knee down to the mat and let's do um, a few rounds of spine uh, spine row spine rows uh, to start to mobilize our spine by um, exhale bring the hips to the heels and come into this active child pose forehead to the floor arms extended out in front of us and from here inhale round your back tuck your tailbones in slowly with control and come to the front of your mat and bring the hips down and coming into this high cobra pose you can um, raise up your head or face forward open up your chest and collarbones and slowly exhalation bring the hips back toward the heels again you can close your eyes while you're doing this just to feel the movement of your spine inhale round your back round 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 come all the way to the front of your mat and bring the hips down open up the chest to the sky face up inhale here high cobra and exhale bring the hips back to the heels forehead down two more rounds like this at your own pace inhale exhale all the way back last round inhale and when you come to this high cobra pose slowly wave your upper back upper body down to um, to meet the floor with your forehead okay so from here let's do a variation of bhujangasana cobra pose with the hands interlaced behind our uh, our head and the elbows open up take a big inhale raise your um, raise your chest up chest and face up using your abdominal and the lower back strength to bring your entire chest off the floor inhale up exhale down 
five more rounds like this at your own pace make sure that you go with the brass and you uh, you do it with control inhale up exhale down inhale up feel the strength engaged at your lower abdominal and the lower back area exhale down three more rounds last one hands underneath your shoulders bring yourself up into a child's pose come a bit to the middle of your mat and a child's pose rest here your arms wrapped around your shins and touching your soles three resting and grounding breaths here you can shake your body side to side massaging your forehead on the floor release any tensions in your lower back and slowly from here take a big breath in and let's come into a rapid pose big breath in with stable exhalation can continue holding your heels with your both hands and come in onto the crown of your head and your upper back middle back is engaged and round and extended stay here for three rounds of breath your abdominals are con uh, your abdominal muscles are contracted to protect your internal organs last breath in exhale release into child's pose and let's do two more time like this with this uh, rapid pose take a big breath in exhale exhale bring your self back into child's pose one last round inhale here exhale bring the hips up and come into this rapid pose one last time three breaths here slowly bring yourself back into child's pose and push yourself up and let's come into a reclined hero pose um, bring your hips a bit up and uh, bring the two shins and the feet a little outside to the to the sides and sit your hips in between your feet and come into this hero pose and we will be doing a reclined hero pose if you feel and if you feel any discomfort or pain in your knees um, you just go on and sit on your on your feet okay so or um, bring some towers underneath your knees just to release any tension from the knees just make sure you don't overgo your uh, limits okay this can be a very um, um, intense and stressful pose for some people with knee problems so let's sit up and tall in this hero pose take big breaths in when you exhale slowly bring your upper torso um, down to bring your torso down to the to the back of your mat keep your chest open collarbones wide and your hands are touching your feet holding your feet and at this moment you can open up your chest even wider to the sky like a gesture to open the heart to the god to the universe receiving any energies positive energies from the mother earth you can bring your head backwards 
if the neck allows or you just hold it like this drop your shoulders from your ears if your neck allows you just bring the uh, bring the crown of your head to touch the try to touch the floor don't have to necessarily touch the floor but reaching towards the floor open up the chest to the sky open the heart to the nature to receive the energies from the mother earth with controlled breaths here three rounds of breaths slowly push yourself a bit up with control and let's come into hero pose again and let's bring yourself a little forward to release from this leg position and bring the both um, both legs on the left or right side and bring them forward extended out in front of you coming into this uh, down dasana sitting staff pose so your torso upper body and your lower body is uh, perpendicular with each other like 90 degrees and sit up and tall and stay here for two rounds of breath slowly bring your right uh, foot to the inner side of your left thigh right knee open towards to the side and still keep your uh, torso upper body up and tall and facing your facing make sure your body is facing your left leg take a big breath in arms up when you exhale bring the right hand to the outside of your left um, foot and your left arm swing backwards to um, place it behind your left hip so inhale exhale and in this pose you will feel the entire and um, expansion and stretch on the right side body the entire right side back bring your forehead to the knee if you can if you cannot make sure that you hinge at hips level don't round your lower back like this so make sure that you go down and hinge at hips and uh, if you cannot go down anymore just stay here it's totally fine but if you can just try to bring your forehead to the knee six six rounds of breaths here slowly raise your torso up to sit and now let's um for most people if you cannot you can stay in this um in this asana but for those of you who can um uh, let's uh, bring the right uh, foot just a bit of external rotate your foot a little bit not too much like to bring the sole of your foot towards the sky a bit more and put the back of your um, the top of your foot onto the in the groins of your left hip just to place the foot like this and sit and uh, bind your hand backwards to touch your your right hand to touch your right toe if you can if you cannot it's also fine that you just raise backwards and to grab the pants grab the pants grab the pants or grab the uh, the shirts if you can have a bind try to have a bind and 
Continue sitting up and tall. Take a big breath in. Brace your left arm up. And exhale. Touch your left um, hand to your left foot. And fold forward. Try to reach your forehead to the knee if you can. Your right shoulders, uh, your right shoulder is externally re rotated, and your face is downwards. Five rounds of breath here. Slowly sit up and release, and let's switch sides. Bring the left foot to the inner side of the right leg. Sit up and tall and face the right leg. And inhale, arms up. Exhale. Land over to the outside of the right foot. Forehead to the knee. Slowly and steady breath here just to feel the expansion of your right, your left side of the back. Two rounds of breath. And slowly bring yourself up. And let's do a half floored fish bond on this side. Okay, um, external rotate your left foot to bring the sole of your foot upwards to face yourself and rest the back on uh, the top of your foot on top of your right groin. Sit up and tall and just come into a bind from the reach the left hand of the to the left toe sorry and sit up and tall face face the right leg Inhale, exhale, touch, and fold forward. Two rounds of breath here. come up and release this pose this pose is really good for the digestion system and just to cleanse the um, cleans your digestion system and uh, helps your help helps and improves your um, digest uh, ability so and also um, cleans any um, any of the stagnant or unwanted prana in your body okay all right now let's sit back into staff pose sit up and tall for three rounds of breath here chest open up to the sky just keep receiving the energies from the mothers keeping a calm mind let's Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, listen carefully. Slowly rotate, your upper body slowly rotate to the right side and bring your right hand to the back of yourself and the left hand land over like this. But your knees, your elbows is internally rotate. Just tuck in and Bring your forehead down to the floor. This pose is called kissing the earth pose. So we are trying to kiss the earth, mother earth, okay? So 
your lower body lower body try to stay leveled inhale exhale rotate come back and kiss the earth inhale up exhale to the other side and your elbows tuck in to hold your upper body kind of inhale up and let's do two uh two round, two times on each side exhale the right side kissing the earth you can literally kiss the earth if your floor is clean your um, other side of the hip is slightly off the floor which is totally fine you don't have to uh, keep your lower body totally stiff and stick to the ground inhale up exhale inhale this is a great pose to let go any of this unwanted energy inside of your body just to twist and cleanse and rinse inhale come back to center raise your arms up exhale come into a forward fold bend at your hips and come down Make sure your abdominals are contracted and are engaged. Slowly bring yourself up. And now let's come onto our back. Come to lay down and let's do let's now bring the whole body into a inversion pose which is very good for the uh, for the blood to go back to the heart and to the head and to the chest let's do this uh, shoulder shoulder stand pose and bring the knees to the chest raise up the foot raise up the feet of the floor and slowly bring your hands into a lower back your lower back area use your engage your core a little bit and use your abdominal muscles to bring your hips off the floor and your hand your hands come into the lower back area and bring yourself up to this shoulder stand feet towards the ceiling like somebody is pulling you up 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 like there is a force pulling your legs into the sky don't uh, don't stand your body into your arms and shoulders because it's bad for your neck so try to use this invisible force to bring yourself up you know instead of holding yourself up Stay here for six rounds of breath just to let the blood enough time to let the blood coming back into your heart and your head. Slowly with control. Bring yourself down and back the hips back to the floor. And from here, let's do legs up the wall pose. If you have a wall, then just bring yourself close to the wall and let your legs lean on the wall for extra support. But if you can, I suggest that you follow me. And if you have a cushion or bolster or pillow and bring it be beneath your lower back and hips like this and just let your hips lower back rest on the on the cushion and keep your legs up uh, 90 degrees of your torso with your torso arms um, extended out next to you palms up 
and let's just stay here for 10 to 15 breaths, okay? This is a really, really beneficial asana uh, that is really good to our heart. And heart is the element of summer. So we want, we would want, in this season, we would want our heart to be strong and vibrate and vivid and lively and just to, to um, receive energies from the earth to bring up the metabolisms. So any heart asanas is all good and it's all related to summer elements. This pose is also very good if you have uh, lower body water retention. Um, it can also release any of the swollenness, swell. A bit shaking is fine. <laughs> Just embrace yourself, your uncertainty, and let your body, let your mind do the job, just absorb the benefits. Five rounds more breaths here. Slowly bend your legs and Bring them down to the floor and lift your hips a little bit. Take the cushion out. Bring the hips back to the floor. And now let's bring the cushion to, um, to support our chest and the shoulders. Just basically with your chest and shoulders lifted and supported by the cushion and with the soles of your feet together, let's come into this supported uh, supine uh, supine butterfly, supine um, buttakonasana pose. Your arms can be extended out next to your body or extended in front of your mat, in front of your head. Any variations of the arms are welcome. Let yourself open up to the nature. So from generating the heat of the body to slowly cool down of the body while opening the heart and we receive the summer energies into our body and the digest it with, into our systems and let any negative unwanted prana energies out of our body. Slowly from here, let's use the hands to close the knees and let's bring yourself up, support yourself up into seated, easy pose, Sukhasana. You can have the bolster underneath your hips for support if you want, otherwise you can also sit on the mat. Come into this easy pose. All right, now at seated. So let's um, bring the arm, the hands into a chain mudra. What is chain mudra? Chain mudra basically can help you focus. So while we're working on this pranayama technique, this mudra can help you focus on um, bring the bring the air in and focus on the cooling. Okay, so bring the uh, tips of your index fingers and your thumbs together and with other three fingers softly extended out and the palms up and rested on top of your knees or your thighs. Sit and bend tall and uh, now bring the upper teeth and the lower teeth to touch each other and uh, 
lips open and bring up a smile. Basically, it's like bring up a smile to your face and with the tongue tucked behind of your teeth, like this. And now when you suck in the air through this, through the, the clenched teeth, and you feel this air is being cooled down by the, basically the wetness, the saliva of your mouth. And it goes all the way down through your throat, to your chest and to your lungs. And this cooling sensation um, is great, basically, is how this technique works. And then this cooled air goes all the way down into your lung. And then you hold it for a couple of seconds and you let it out slowly with control with your nostrils. All right, so let's... Um, Let's uh, now start this uh, process, breathing process, and let's do, um, let's say, six rounds of this cooling breathe technique uh, just to um, feel the cool air in our body. All right, let's uh, bring the hands into Chin Mudra and uh, bring up a smile. You can keep your eyes closed. Inhale. Through the through the teeth, close your mouth and uh, chin towards your chest. Hold it. Face up. Out through the nostril with control. Let's do five rounds like this. Okay. Close the mouth, chin down, hold. Last one. Let go. Slowly blink your eyes open. Feel the coolness. Have you all felt this cool down of your body? Take big breaths in and let it out. So this uh, breathing technique, you can do it at any time of the day or, you know, just when you feel like, or by the self, you know, like you don't have to do it after a flow or after a yoga session, you, you can do it any time you want. If you feel hot or if you feel, um, you know, disturbed, if you, if you feel nervous, this is also good to cool down your whole um, energy, cool down your whole uh, nervous system. This uh, technique, by the way, in Sanskrit is called Sitkari. Sitkari in Sanskrit means uh, sipping and hissing. So basically that's what we did, like this sound in Sanskrit is called Sitkari. So in this breathing technique in Sanskrit is called Sitkari. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, this is the end of uh, our session. And also, um, I hope you guys will, I hope you guys enjoy and uh, feel a little sense of cool, both in the body and in the mind. And I hope this summer brings you um, 
good uh, health and good joy and i hope you enjoy this beautiful summer wherever you are and i will be traveling soon again from munich and um, back to madrid and from madrid i will be traveling back to china for a month and a half and probably my next episode will be brought to you from china most likely and uh, but don't mind the waiting and uh, by till then stay tuned and um, i wish you a good house and thank you very much for following me if you haven't followed me yet um, just click that subscription button and i'll see you from um, wherever i will be and basically i will be all over china and europe all the time so hope to see you soon Bye, namaste.